Hi everybody, Sam here and I'm back with another How I Organise video and this is how I organise my bits and bobs. So in these clear little cubes are three trays in each cube holding all random things really. Now I was a bit unsure first of all whether to share this because you know I've I've sourced these things you know over the years really. so not everyone's going to always be able to get them for the prices that I paid so I actually picked these up when I was in China and I got them for £1.50. Now I'm back in the UK, I've seen the exact same ones, it's come from the same factories, and they're like six to ten pound. I do also have the slightly bigger ones and I'll show you those in a moment. So I appreciate that I wouldn't pay those, I wouldn't pay six pound a, a cube. You know, you can get some of them a little bit cheaper in maybe places like Primark, or certainly if you go online, and I think if you want to get closer to the one pound fifty that I paid them, you need to be really going to AliExpress or Wish and getting them directly from the factories. Obviously you're going to wait a little bit longer for them to arrive, but that's probably where you're going to get them for, near, you know, nearer the price that I paid. So anyway, I just wanted to just mention that because otherwise the perspex these kind of storage pieces can be quite expensive they really have shot up a lot of them are used within the makeup industry so a lot of makeup artists and people that are building their own kind of beauty rooms they have all of these clear kind of boxes so I think that's over the years really increased the, the prices on these particular pieces of storage anyway just to give you an idea of what's in here, they are in some kind of order. So I've kind of got the wood wood effect bits and pieces down here. So I've just got like this tray here. It's got little things for scrapbooking or to put on gift bags, all kinds of bits and bobs. And then in this one here, that was a key. I've got some little wooden bits. This is really when I do like my 3D storage pieces, I use those. This one here is all letters and toppers. So in these top four, I've got all different little, that famous tile letter word game tiles. <laughs> you know the one I mean. And then going into here, yeah, I've got some sentiments. These are from the Paper Posies decoupage. I just made them all up. The papers are pretty much gone now, but they're great because they go with a lot of things. I've got things like this. So when I need quick toppers, these ones I go to a lot. I've got the thank you in the silver and gold and then happy birthday in silver and gold. They're all in there. Then here I've got some feathers. I've got some magnets. They're just alphabet magnets. I use them just as like decor really in my craft room. A few random things. I've got some baby um, ribbons. And these are just all for new baby, baby boy. So I've kept them all together and I keep them in the plastic so they stay nice and clean as well just so that when I do have to do something like that I've got them ready. Here is actually all of the metal, the hardware for my ribbon storage. Sorry if you can hear the seagulls, they're literally just outside my window and this is, I'm shooting, uh, filming this quite early in the morning so they're always out then. And there's some wires from when I was doing, I did make a lot of jewellery as well years ago. Um, what else have I got? Random things here. I've got some discs from an old game, but I thought they would be maybe handy for if I needed to do a game inspired, maybe shaker card. <laughs> I've got beads. And then here is plastic flowers, is the word I'm trying to get out there. These are all fabric flowers and lace. Some of this lace, this is a beautiful vintage lace. These are poppies and some flowers that were made for me. Pegs, more stationery at this end here, so there's elastic bands, pegs. These are all, I can't remember what those are called, but they are file, paper file things. <laughs> what are they called? They have a name. I have pins. I mean, they're so much nicer when they're in something like that than in all the boxes. A Fiskars, old Fiskars blades. So I keep all them for cutting my grey board. And then in this one I have my brother scan and cut colouring pens that go in the machine with the holster for them. And I've got some USB files there as well. I've got a ribbon maker. Alphabet beads, this is just all my beads, these are C beads for when I do the waterfall cards. That's it. So that's everything in these. So you, like I said, you get three of them in a cube, if 
I just pull a whole cube out so you can get, get an idea of the size there. It all fit really nicely together so it might be something you want to start off you know with just a couple and then kind of let it grow from there because I didn't buy these all in one go I think it was maybe four or six that I got fest and then kind of went from there so that's the smaller ones so up here are the bigger ones now I'm having to hold my camera this time because my tripod isn't as tall as this shelf is but you can see them here so these are just longer ones and again I've and I've seen these in the UK this exact same one so they are available if I go a bit closer here I don't want to shake things too much but in here I've got all wooden frames can't really do all this with one hand but there are wooden frames in there there's some closed pegs I've got lollipop sticks and wooden alpha but you know letters there so that's all like wooden stuff and then in here I've got some tassels for journaling they're all like butterflies in these two I've got elastic, lots of stars. They are like chipboard ephemera pieces. And in that bottom one are all of the lights that I used on my shadow box card shaker one at Christmas. And I shared all those lights. They're all in there, along with wobblers as well. So like things for kinetic cards and bits and pieces. And there's also in there actually the voice, um, little devices for the voice cards that I've done. And then they're just some random like leaves plastic silver and gold ones that I've got so that's all that's in there and I've got the what is it two four six I've got eight in that same um, width shelf as the other ones so that's just another option I thought I could get three on top but it's just not enough space and if I move the shelf up above then I won't fit what's on there so that will do for now again it just keeps all those bits and bobs it's used a lot I do go to this and um, again I'm just reminded of what I've got so if at any point I don't or I forget then I will think right I haven't used these let's make something with them so and I'm always reminded to use my lights because I do really like those that is all of my storage for my bits and bobs I hope you've enjoyed it I hope it's given you some more inspiration on some storage pieces that you may want to try and I'll be back again very soon with more How I Organise videos. Thanks for watching. Bye.